Namaste, I am Devi Swami, Assistant Professor in Jayati Vidya Vidya University, Partnaki of Education and Methodology Department of Science and Technology. In this session, we will discuss about the different type of uh, numerical on our production theories. So let's start. The question says, <coughs> determine columns, active pressure, and passive pressure on the wall. Wall is this. We have, what we have here in the question, I is 15 degree, beta is 80 degree, phi dash is 30 degree, tail is 20 degree, and gamma is 19 kilometer per meter cube. Now, for columns theory, the columns active pressure, we have columns theory. In the column theory, my coefficient of active pressure, what we, uh, what we have in the coefficient of active pressure formula is, but we uh, find square beta plus phi dash divided by sine square beta sine beta minus a multiplied by one one plus under root of sine Phi dash plus base sine phi dash minus i upon sine theta minus base sine theta plus i. Cool. This is my formula for. A coefficient of uh, active pressure by Coulomb's theory. So this is my formula. In this formula, we have all the values like uh, for theta value, for phi value, for uh, tail value, and i value. Now, what we are doing next is putting all the values in this form. K A equals to sine square theta is K B. And by the sine square eighty sine eighty minus twenty brackets may one plus under root of sine by dash is thirty. Tail is 20, sine 30 minus i is 15 upon sine beta is 20 minus tail is sorry, 80 minus tail is 20 sine 80 plus after calculating it, my value of Ka is sine square beta is 30. This is the value of Ka, that means coefficient of after pressure by Coulomb's theory. Now, what we do, in, uh, what we uh, do next is finding PA value. PA is 1 by 2 KA gamma x square. 1 by 2 KA is 0.4 A multiplied by gamma is 19. X is 4. The value of PA is 73.26 kilo newton. This is my PA and this is my A. What we are doing next is finding, finding KP value. What is KP? The coefficient of passive pressure by Coulomb's theory. So, KP is equals to sine squares 
beta minus phi left upon sine square beta sine beta plus base under root of the bracket main one minus sine phi left plus base sine phi left plus i upon sine beta plus base sine beta plus i ka whole this is my formula for kp what is kp my uh, passive uh, or pressure for bipolar system so after uh, now what is the all the values of del beta uh, i and phi sin square beta is 80 phi is 30 upon sin beta is 80 Sine 80 plus 20 bracket mean one minus sine 30 plus 20 sine 30 plus 15 upon sine 80 plus 20 sine Eighty plus fifteen bar. After calculating this, my value of Kp is nine point six two. Kp value is nine point six two. Now here again, value of Kp is greater than the value of Ka. That uh, same as we discussed in the previous session that my uh passive pressure value is always greater than my active pressure value by yeah. it is our uh, choice with whatever we do, uh, apply in the theory like by polar theory by rankine theory or any other but the value of kp is or by uh, the value of kp or kp kp is always greater than the value of pa and kp a so next the uh, next step is finding pp what is pp passive or pressure by coulomb's theory for the passive or pressure my pp will be 1 by 2 kp comma x square 1 by 2 kp is 9.62 comma is 90 x is 4 my value is 1462.24 kilonewton this is my p p both are my answers but we have calculated this question this is my answer i hope you understand all about this column theory uh, numerical the next numerical is on for in the soil Have cohesive soil. Then what we are doing, what we will do, or what we, how we can calculate our active pressure or passive pressure. So the question says. Is 
gamma is 16 kilonewton per meter cube. Phi dash is 24. C dash is 10 kilonewton per meter square. Gamma saturated is 19 kilonewton per meter cube. My water table is lying at B layer. My back of A B layer is 2 meter. And the back of B C layer is also 2 meter. So this is my question. In this question, what we have? We have C dash. What is C dash? C dash is cohesion intercept. What is cohesion intercept? Cohesion intercept uh, coming in the cohesive soils only. When we are uh, talking about the cohesion less soil, my cohesion intercept is zero or almost zero. Or when we are uh, talking about the cohesive soil, my C dash uh, cohesion intercept value have something value, some value have uh, in C dash. So in this question, my AB layer is cohesion less and my BC layer is cohesive. So that's why the value of C dash is 0 and the value of C dash is 10 kN. For this type of question, what we are doing, we are firstly, as usual, finding A A. Here also our different terms is my phi dash value is different for the both layer. So we are calculating A A1, 1 minus, sorry, A B. We are calculating for passive force. So KP 1 plus sine phi dash, 1 minus sine phi dash. KP 1 value is 1 plus sine 30 degree, 1 minus sine 30 degree. KP 2 value is 1 plus sine 24 degree, 1 minus sine 24 degree. The value of after solving this is 3 and 4.37. Next, what we are doing, the same thing in the previous section we were discussed uh, for when we have the five different five value. What we have to find out is for uh, B interface layer is for uh, for B interface layer we have to calculate the both uh, for upper layer and for the bottom layer we have to calculate the PA. So in this question for A layer the value of Z is zero, the value of C is C dash is zero. So my PA is also zero. Now again, what is the formula of PA here? Because of this cohesion intercept, my formula of PA is KA gamma sigma P plus 2C dash under root of K P. Sorry, K is not K. Okay, so KP formula is KP sigma V plus 2C dash uh, under cross K. Now for A layer, my Z value is 0. Z, what is Z? Sigma V gives gamma Z. So Z value is 0, so this term is 0. C dash value is 0, so this term is also 0. The whole value is 0, then PP is also 0. For B layer, now for B layer, for B Layer. For the layer, sigma v is gamma z. Gamma is 16 multiplied by 2, 32 kilonewton per meter squared. Next, for water. For water, p, p is kp1 multiplied by B. What is KP1 here? We have 3. 3 multiplied by 32, which is the value is 96 kilometers per meter square. For upper layer, P, P, 
is KP2 sigma V. What is KP2? 2.37. 2.37 multiplied by 32. The value is 1 0. My value of PP. 
this section is for extend version why extend version because of the interface layer what is interface layer we have we have b layer in our interface layer why because the file has value is different for the both upper and lower layer so that's why my b is interface layer for b interface layer we have the value first value is 96 and the next value is 106.6 that's why for upper layers my value is like this and for bottom layers it extends at uh till the 106.6 value and the next for my summer uh my summer uh where the summer pp value is 42.7 and my four water pressure value is uh, 20 so by uh, with this these values we have we will calculate this p1 p2 p3 p4 how p1 p2 we should be what is calculated first p equals to first for right triangle 1 by 2 1 by 2 multiply by this 2 multiply by this 96 2 multiply by 96 next for this rectangle Two multiplied by one zero six point six. For this triangle, one by two multiplied by forty two point seven multiplied by two. Plus for this triangle, one by two multiplied by twenty multiplied by two. After calculating it, my total pressure pressure value is three seventy one point nine kilonewton. This is my And this is how we calculate for the cohesive soil in uh, question. If we asked about the cohesive soil, how we calculate this kind? This type of question is solved by uh, like this. I hope uh, you understand about this question. Our next question is. Different from this question, uh, which we will uh, discuss in the next uh, session. I hope you don't have any query in this session, but if you have, then please mention in the comment box. I will solve it. Uh, thank you for watching us.